Hi, in this video we're going to show you a tool you could use to convert audio files and also rip CDs. It's called FreeAC or FreeAC. I'm not sure exactly how you say it, but it's a free download, so maybe that's part of the free. Um, there's two versions, I believe. There's a standalone and also an installer. So if you just download the standalone, which is what I did, you could just run the executable as needed, or you could just install it as a regular app if you want to do that. So once you double click the executable here, you got some tool tips if you want. And so now you have your main screen with your job list. You could do it. There's a tag editor and then there's some logs as well. So what you need to do is just you could add files from here or just drag them into the window. So I'm going to do a few different songs here. Drag these in here. Okay, so it shows you the artist, the title, track number, length, size. If you click on one, it'll give you more information. And if you go to the tag section, you can actually edit some information here as well. Basic, got some details, publisher, lyrics, if you want to add lyrics, rating, like so. You could change, add or remove cover art as well. Okay, so once you have them in your job list here, you could choose what you want to do with them from this menu here. So you could do Apple lossless, MP3s, AAC, FLAC, the default I think is this lame mp3 encoder. And if you go down here you have WAV files and other options here as well. So let's say we want to convert these to FLAC files. So it's telling you converting from a lossy to a lossless format. So this is saying that these mp3s uh, once you convert them to FLAC files, you're kind of downgrading them. So we're going to just say yes anyways. Okay, so it takes them out the list. And then it puts each song in its own folder here. And now you can see it's a FLAC file. Okay, so let's remove these. And now let's try WAV files, for example. So now we have the WAV files. Then you could also create a playlist, cue sheet, you could even encode these to a single file. So let's say you wanted just one file with all the songs in it, uh, so it just plays continuously, you could do that. Then up here in the file menu, you could add and remove. You could save job lists, clear them. Uh, you could add audio files. Add CD contents. So I have a CD in the drive, but I'll show you the problem with that. Now it says that drive cannot be found in the accurate RIP database. So this is a virtual machine, so it doesn't recognize this drive. So if you say yes, that's it. Insert a disk cannot be found in the database. Insert another disk. So this is not a popular CD that's been ripped before, so it's not in the database, so it's not going to let me rip it. So you might run into that problem when you're trying to uh, rip CDs using this program. But of course, you could use, you know, Windows Media Player if you want to do that as well. So I just wanted to show you how you could use this just to convert audio to various formats very easily. So I will put a link in the description where you could download it, and then you could uh, try out either the standalone or the fully installable version and start converting your music files. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.